Okay, here we are. Let's see, this is Harley, and this will be, I think it's mile 15. So, of the St. George Children's Walk. And uh, we're just gonna walk up here to the Veterans Memorial here and uh, take some pictures of Harley up at the Vet Memorial. Hey, Harley. Because I wasn't feeling real well last week, Harley did, hasn't been out for a few days, so he's kind of pulling again, but he'll get better. Come on, Harley. Come on. Oh, hi, girls. <laughs> Come on, Harley. Good boy. So, well, that's like 20 feet away. Yeah, they're going to follow us. See? <laughs> Your little doe's going to follow us. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Ah, ah. Come on. Harley. Come on, Harley. Let's go up here. Yeah. There we go, bud. Come on. He was, he was walking nice and... There he goes. He's eased up a little bit now. Come on, Harley. Let's go. Oh, nope. Come on, Harley. Come on. Come on. Hi. Right. Hi, right, Harley. Serious editing we're gonna have to do, huh? Yeah. Hey, Harley. Harley. Hey, bud. Harley. Hey. Hey, come here. Hey. Be careful with me down these stairs. Can you help me? Hey, Harley. No. Come here. I know that you had to help Bill downstairs, so come here. Harley. Come here, help me. Harley. Come here. It's hard to... Oop, hold. Hold. Alright. Okay, ready? Alright. Okay, go slow. Alright, go slow. Good boy. So hard to film this and do this at the same time. Go slow. Yeah, hey, you want to pay attention to me instead of the wall? He's at least going very slow for me. So, he's almost. Good boy. Hi, Harley. Come on. Hey, come on, let's go. Yeah. No, no. No, we're not doing that. We're not going that way. I know these stairs are weird, huh? Come on. Yeah, easy. Easy, bud. Go slow. Yep, go slow. Go slow. Ah, that's me slipping. Oh, go slow. You're going too fast. Hold. Halt. Good. Okay. Alright, come on. So way more distracted than we really want his nose to be. But he did at least try to stay at my pace and did not try to pull me all the way down those slippery stairs. So that at least is progress. Alright, come on Harley. And I am going to put my phone away. It's just too hard to do this and film at the same time. So I will see you in a little bit with uh, probably Tater. See, tater tied in a little bit.
Holly. Hey, Holly. Come on, let's go. Come on, Holly. Good boy. Good. Yeah, good boy. Over here. Hey, buddy. You know, you guys can see how easy and nice he's walking. Come on, bud. Come on, Harley. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Come on, Harley. Harley, come here. And this is mile 16 of the... St. Jude Children's Hospital 40 mile dog walk challenge. Yeah, mile 16 with Tater Todd. Come on, Tater Todd. Come on. Yep, come on. Let's go. Yep. Alright, and so he has, oh, just um, a week over. So he's five months and a week now. So this St. Bernard Puppy is. Hey, bud. Come here. Tater. <laughs> so and this is the difference. Okay, come on, Tater. Yeah, so, so this is the difference in between raising them um, to walk with us, which I think they were. Uh, we've got a video on there with uh, Little Dove, first harness lesson on the channel, um, previous video. Okay, yep. <coughs> are you set? Okay, we have kids coming. Right. Taylor, yeah, can you... Yep, yeah, they need to approach calmly. Okay. He's a very sweet puppy, but he's... All puppy. He's big, yeah. Yes. What, how old is he? Like five, five, months? five months in a week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, buddy. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. He's got teeth in there and a lot of tongue, so. Yeah. Yep. Um, and big old paws. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're okay. awesome. Thank you. How big were mom and dad? Um, so dad is a high... Good boy, Tater. Come on. Tater. Yeah. Good boy. <clears throat> right, and so the difference in between raising them. Um, so he had his first harness and leash on and going for a little walks inside the nursery area. Um, I think they were five weeks, four or five weeks old um, when we did this bunch. So you can see exactly how old they were on our, on the other uh, video. But. And versus Harley, who was taught to pull. <laughs> so Harley was actually taught to pull by his veteran um, to actually facilitate his, his mobility, um, and that was his choice. <clears throat> so. And so Harley is actually improving quite quickly. I was happy with <sighs> lots of checks. Boy. Hello. Hi. Come on, Harley. Come on, Tater. Ah, come on, Tater Todd. Yeah, come on, Tater. Come on, Tater Todd. All right. Come
Hi, good boy, Taylor. Good boy, Taylor. Come on. Come on, buddy. Good boy, Taylor. Oh boy. All right. Being a silly girl. Ripple baby. Good girl. Hey, don't roll that way. Roll the other way. Roll the other way, weirdo. Take it off. Good girl. Good girl, Ripple. All right. Okay, so let's go. So, so now you guys know why Ripple has twigs in her hair a lot. <laughs> yeah. She's my chore dog. Hey, Moosey. This is Moosey. Hey. This is our COVID failure dog. This is the puppy that we placed with the veteran on March 9th, 2020. And the lockdown happened on March 14th here in Montana. And so Moose did not get any of his socialization puppy classes or public access um, conditioning during the imprinting period. And so he is a career change and he will be um, probably staying with us but if the right home and the right situation came about for a moose we would um, let him go but it would be, have to be a perfect situation so and he is um, from has the same father as Mickey does and then their mother's are full siblings but from different litters so they're almost they're like cousin brothers cousin siblings so Mickey of course is would be Moose's sister so sister cousin hey Moose look at me hey Moose but I mean he's just he's just a beautiful dog and he's such a sweet boy and he loves people so much he's just um, very picky about he likes female dogs just fine, but male dogs, he, he won't tolerate other male dogs. It's the Pyrenees in him. So. Oh, gosh. He has three quarters Pyrenees and 25% C, I think is what it is. So. But, yeah, so he's a lot of dog to handle, so I am not going to video our walk. I am just going to concentrate on giving him a good walk and uh, we'll put a little bit of this in there so that you guys can see this gorgeous, gorgeous boy. About you know, 130, 140 pounds. Moose! Good boy! Yeah. He does do his mobility work though. Um, so he can't, he can't work, he can't, uh, he's not a public access dog, but he could certainly be a assistance dog in somebody's home. So, if you're interested in Moose and you're a veteran and you think you might have the right situation for him, you can text Moose to um, 
the cell phone listed on the video description.